Hey, yo, what's going on? But once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegasus. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Center Freak 2011, aka Criticism Guy 2009. Of course, you guys are wrestlers. Your channel, Duffy Check out Freedom.com. Of course, Trump and Susan. Now, if you want an official channel banner designer, pick specifically just for you. And uh, definitely check out their business special program, best partnership I've ever had, all the good stuff. Before I begin, I just got to give two special missing shout outs. Um, shout out to <laughs> one of these persons I'm still might be subscribed to, I'm not sure. I know she's real in the Pokemon TCG. I know she makes a couple videos. She definitely deserves, deserves a lot more views than I do. Um, Jennifer Rich. Definitely check her stuff out. <laughs> and um, Jersey's Rants. I know they gave me a little birthday shout-outs on Facebook. I appreciate that very much from the bottom of my heart. And any of the rest of you guys just follow me on Facebook or Twitter. <laughs> That's really, really awesome of them to do that. I actually did the reaction video. And before I begin, um, I actually saw... Um, Saw the trailer for this already. I did a reaction to it. It was actually the day before my birthday because <laughs> I'm real close to the big 3 0 AK 30. <laughs> eh, it's going to be uh, fucking miserable once I hit 30s, man. I hope it isn't, but it might be. Other than that, <laughs> yeah, I'm 27 now. This is the first video I do. Not not for 2015. The first video I do after me being 26 because yesterday was out. That was a reaction video I did for Det Detective Pikachu. So. <laughs> You'll see that soon, but um, um, previously I already saw the video twice. First time was actually official reaction video review segments. If any people are interested, not interested. If any people are aware of that series, thank you very much for watching. If you are, and without further ado, let's begin. I'm gonna get into this article real quick. And for before I begin, some people were saying that an English version translation should have like Danny DeVito play <laughs> Pikachu's voice. I can't imagine that fool playing him, but whatever. It'd be cool if John Delance here, that other dude that did um, Bender's voice from Futurama, and then Jake from Adventure Time, that would do the actual voice for him. I think his name is Phil Lamart. If he did the voice for Detective Pikachu, that would be hilarious as all hell. But yeah, this um, article is from Nintendo Life. I'll plan on to do two part of this. If I do, I apologize in advance. And here we go. So the person that wrote this was Thomas Whit Whithead, or Whitehead. So props to you for giving this article out. <laughs> This was posted four days ago on Tuesday. Damn. It's already going to be like Saturday morning pretty soon. So it says, Detective Pikachu trailer is revealed. Arrives as a download in Japan on third, Japan the 3rd of February. <laughs> it's weird. It said on the 29th it was coming. Oh, well. Weird CGI Pikachu arrives in a dapper hat. Do you remember the creepy CGI Pikachu revealed in October 2013 in which the man had a very expensive face? It was teased back then as a 3DS title, with a magnifying glass as our rare clue. And it all went silent from there. Well, well now, we know it's called Detective Pikachu, birth of a new co combination. Thanks to Sarah B for translating the name. As it's out in Japan as on eShop, download on February 3rd. It'll have a discounted price of 1,200 yen, and it says in parentheses, roughly $10 in a launch period up to the 29th of February, and it will cost them 1,500 yen, roughly 1,250. The launch trailer is below where we see the smug, talking, loving, lovable Detective Pikachu in a roughly neat hat. Considering that the aesthetics and the settings of the game that we think we're in a release of West very likely, <laughs> and the West is very likely, so that'll be worth following. And it says, it looks like a fun experience and an affordable price, too. Let us know what you think of Detective Pikachu in the comment section below. Okay, so overall thoughts, views, and opinions. This is a really weird-ass, freaky-looking game, but, <laughs> of course, the trailer is cute and adorable. I'm not, I've never really been the biggest fan of Pikachu, even as a 90s kid growing up. He still wasn't the coolest Pokemon for me. Obviously, back in those days, if I had to put a top five randomly, I'm not really randomly. The first two are pretty much nostalgic. I get a nostalgia boner from that shit. I don't know why, I just do. It would be like, um, Ride on a Zapdos, obviously. Hands down. And then Rhyhorn, of course, as an evolution chain. But if it had to be the other three, it'd probably be between Alakazam. Who else? For Gen 1. I'm not trying to be a Gen 1, I'm just saying. Huh. It'll be Alakazam. I'm trying to think of another one. I guess Alakazam, Cloyster, and... Hmm. I would say Polyrap, but I didn't really care for him too much. Venusaur. Let's just put it at that. And as I extra added bonus, Blastoise. Because <laughs> I never care for Charizard. You guys should know that by now. You've been following me for the longest period of time. 
And the last few things I'm going to touch base with real quick and just get into the information because all thousands of other channels I already caught up to this info four days ago. I know I was real late on this, but, you know, real life calls. I can't do this all the time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. But anyways, um, <laughs> there's that. The first two things that's kind of weirded me out about it besides the voice acting is, like, the one part where the kitty ends up kissing the Pikachu on the face. I'm like, <laughs> and hopefully Pokemon start, not starting to get, like, you know, it is what it is. I don't care if, about the LGBT community or gay or lesbian or homophobe or any of that. It doesn't matter um, what your sexual orientations are. I honestly don't give a crap. But it was kind of weird, you know. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not trying to bash on the series too much, but uh, I was just getting that vibe of how Pokemon Shuffle and then that whole Pokemon um, Rumble Blast kind of thing was. And I wasn't a real big fan of those games, but, you know, a lot of side, some, not all. Some side of Pokemon games aren't that great. Then there's other ones like Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon and Pokemon Puzzle League and other others in that particular stature of nature. Those are designed fantastically damn well. Um, they don't just hold a special place in my heart nostalgic-wise. I just I feel like they're <laughs> they're worthy of having some type of award or something, you know, besides the game awards. And the last other thing, I don't know if that dude's supposed to be like Sherlock Holmes that's following him all over the place. Of course, Pikachu is a global phenomenal, like, um, giant mascot of the Pokemon series altogether. Like I always said before, people that don't even play Pokemon are fans of the series at all, period. Whether they love it or hate it, they know who Pikachu is. It's a household name. Other than that, it's like fucking Pepsi and Coke, <laughs> pretty much. Or, um, you want to get into sports, you don't really care too much about sports. I like the 90s, like Michael Jordan was, or, um, or nowadays, and if you live here in the United States, like, um, Things what his name. Ugh. It's from the New England Patriots. Ugh. Eli Manning or um, who else? How Michael Vick was. You know, they're the modern name people. Or LeBron James. They're household fucking names. Everyone's going to remember who, who, who the hell they are. There's no doubt and mistake in my mind about that. Ugh. But the good things I really liked about it, you know, I like that little catchy, like, um, British stereotype type of um, <laughs> music thing they were playing in the background. I was really vibing to that very, very young. Um, Roughly when I was reacting to it. It was really cool. <laughs> I was freaked out by it a little bit. I thought it was going to be another trailer for Pokemon Go. Because it was showing the whole globes. And the whole whole little streets and alleys of different places around the world. Or it was going to be another second part to the Super Bowl on um, Pokemon Olympic. Not Pokemon Olympics. What the fuck. Pokemon Super Bowl commercial. But um, then again I was totally wrong. I, I was totally um, out of left field on that one. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Graph looks real nice. Graph looks a very nice for it as well. And that's it. Links to the description box down below to the article on that side and all that good stuff. <laughs> and I had a really awesome birthday. Um, I actually got one really cool little Amiibo thing. I don't know if it was the Mewtwo one or the other one. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to think of what it was. It could have been Marth or Ike, I think, the Amiibo that they gave me. And then the other two I'll show you very, very soon. Just please stay patient with me on that. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, and then I got these two old school nostalgia shirts, like Curse of Kali Dog shirt and then some old Atari joystick shirt. That was really cool for my roommates to do. That was really, really cool. It's touching. <laughs> oh, man. It's good to have people that I can trust. That's great. I live in this household. And that's it. Peace out once again, bros, women, bros, and Pegasus. We'll see when I see you guys a good day. Have a good night wherever you are around the world. on just tomorrow at the same time. Don't say anything reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it lecture out there. And until the next time, guys, peace out. Ladies and goodbye. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brain of on channels every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay safe. Stay, stay, stay healthy. Be easy. Be you. Do it yourself. Peace out. I'm going to like sauerkraut. I'm gone. I'm getting a lot of here. Stay tuned more future content. Channels, stay tuned more updates. Deuces, I'm out of here. Stay safe, everyone. And stay tuned more future content. And uh, say hello to February. Peace.